Hi, my name is Francisco Esteva, I'm Professor of uh, Medicine and Oncology at NYU Langone Health at the Perlmutter Cancer Center. And we would like to tell you a little bit about the, a recent publication in OncoTarget about the prognostic role of MIR-24 3P in breast cancer and its association with the metastatic process. The uh, motivation to do this, this project was to understand and identify biomarkers that would be associated with prognosis in breast cancer patients. So we started with a prospective collection of plasma samples uh, for, from patients with stage 1 to stage 3 breast cancer. And we followed those patients for a number of years and we identified a group of patients who subsequently developed uh, metastatic breast cancer. And then we found a, a, another group of patients who had not developed breast cancer, uh, say uh, sort of a case control approach. And then we were interested in uh, non-coding RNAs, uh, particularly microRNAs. So we decided to use uh, nanostring technology to look at a, a wide number of, of microRNAs and, and found one uh, that we felt was, uh, was very interesting. And we'll discuss in more detail the, um, uh, how we did it in the laboratory. I'm a believer in the importance of uh, translational research and how to apply information from uh, genomics and, and gene sequencing studies to the clinic. And I'd like to, at the end, uh, we, we can review a little bit what would be the clinical implications of this work. So I'd like Adriana to introduce herself and discuss some of the technology we used at NYU. Hi, my name is Adriana Hege. I'm the director of the Genome Technology Center and recently I've also become the assistant dean for all the um, advanced research technologies here at NYU Langone. And the scope of our work is to provide really advanced technologies for physician scientists or basic sciences to be able to tap into these resources for translational projects, basic science projects. And this one was a perfect example of integration of uh, clinical data, genomics data, bioinformatics data. And it was particularly challenging because these are um, plasma samples and it's very easy or a lot easier to do research on tissues where the nucleic acids or the biomarkers are abundant. But for plasma samples, it is, it is very challenging. And we took advantage of this technology called nanostring encounter technology that measures the microRNAs or the mRNAs uh, directly without any PCR amplification. And in this case, you can use very small volumes of plasma to do the analysis. And because there's no PCR amplification, there's also less bias. So it was an excellent technology for us to apply. But of course, at first, you know, we had many samples and we weren't exactly sure how to extract the RNA. We had to work the perfect conditions. We also added spike in exogenous microRNAs for us to be able to measure precisely the concentration of the real microRNAs and make sure we weren't introducing any biases in the collection or the extraction of the RNA or the processing of the samples. And Nanostring uh, has put together a panel of 800 of these microRNAs and so we can look at all 800 at once with a very little amount of total RNA. So this was really a, a, an ideal technology to look at this type of samples. Hi, my name is uh, Ali Reza Khadadili. I'm a senior bioinformatics analyst at uh, NYU Applied Bioinformatics Laboratories and Genome Technology Center at the Division of Advanced Data Research Technologies. And uh, in this paper, we really wanted to mm, use detecting these microRNAs, not only to just per prognose, but we, we wanted to emphasis on, uh, uh, not only for diagnosis, but we, our emphasis was on prognosis to find out like which of the patients might in the future develop metastasis. And we also uh, perform tests to identify the targets of these microRNA, uh, this, micro, uh, this microRNA to see um, the genes that are being targeted by this uh, microRNA, what are uh, the impacts of those and what roles they play uh, in cancer. 
So one of the most interesting aspects of this research is to uh, integrate real patient samples that we can collect prospectively in our clinics with information already available from the Cancer Genome Atlas, which uh, Reza analyzed extensively. More than a thousand uh, patients with RNA sequencing data are publicly available. And looking at the expression of these microRNAs in tissue samples from TCGA, combined with our innovative approach at looking at plasma microRNA using nanostring technology in, the, in this case, uh, combined, these are very powerful uh, techniques to identify new biomarkers which may have important implications in the future uh, since what we are trying to predict is which patients with early stage breast cancer will develop metastasis at some point in their lives which uh, could be of course a major uh, event. So I'd like Reza to comment a little bit more on the TCGA analysis, how he was able to mine the TCGA to find genes, in this case, microRNAs associated with metastasis, and how then we went back to our patient samples to come up with this biomarker we identified, MIR-24, 3P in breast cancer. So the idea was to use TCGA primary tu tumor samples because, you know, cancer cells are expressing some of the genes abnormally high, and these, um, the product of these genes, whether proteins or RNAs, they leak into the blood. So we were thinking that the microRNA that we found in blood that could be used for prognosis is originating from uh, primary tissue. So we used the samples from TCGA and then ran an, a, a statistical analyses uh, to match the data and see if the microRNA that we, found, we found in, in the blood uh, was originating from the primary tissues. And also finding pathways that might be associated with the mechanism of resistance. So in summary, this collaboration between clinicians, basic research, uh, very sophisticated gene technology, uh, laboratory and bioinformatics, I think is a good example of translational research and how we would like to move in the future to NYU Langone Health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.